Wow, guys, you see this? It's frying up grasshoppers. I'm Chris Thorne. That's Zachary Fowler. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge in Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch it and cook it. Good morning, everybody. It is day 24. Day 24. Super excited. If you have, um, you're trying to figure out like, Chris, day 24 of what? This is day 24 of our 30 day survival challenge and you have no idea what I'm talking about. We got a playlist up in the right hand corner so you can go check that out. I guess Zach over here, you guys gotta check out what he made this morning. Boom. Look at this. We literally have wilderness chicken nuggets. Look at that, that's amazing. No, they're crickets. Grasshoppers. Yeah, cricket hoppers. Yeah, those things. Look at that. Oh, dude, this looks so good. Wow, guys, you see this? It's frying up grasshoppers. Definitely, definitely need to try one of these. Oh, I'm excited. I've never, ever, ever had one before. This looks super freaking sick. You're hungry. Join me for some breakfast. <laughs> Have at it. All right, guys. So for some people out there who are cultured and enlightened, who've been other places, uh, grasshoppers are actually very common. But uh, this is fried wisu with, 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 with wadobo. Oh, fried in the raccoon fat, sprinkled with adobo. Yeah. Dude, this is like really good. <laughs> All right, here we go, fried grasshopper. All right, here we go, fried grasshopper. Let's see. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So I'll give you guys a close up what it looks like all fried up. So that's it right there. And it is super good. Check the chicken nugget of the insect kingdom. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Grasshopper fried in raccoon fat. Here we go. Here we go, grasshopper fried in raccoon fat. Let's see how they taste. That's edible. That's edible, 100%. All right, so these are awesome. However, since you didn't get to see the cooking portion on my channel, that's gonna be more on his for these grasshoppers because he did all the work for them. For any aspiring Boy Scouts at home who want to try this for themselves. Um, so what's the generalized, like, sh Cliff Notes version of how you got these cooked? So, I went out, you collect them when it's cooler in the morning when they're not jumping around. I kind of gave up once they started jumping around an awful lot because it got warmer. Because um, then you're just spending all your time chasing just one. Mm -hmm. Take them back. I steamed them real quick in a little bit of water so they stop jumping around. Then you grab them by the wings, you take off the wings, and then you rip uh, then you grab them by the butt and you pull that off and it pulls out their like innards innards yeah their their <laughs> rear part of their innards their lower intestinal area the thing that you don't want to eat so much and then uh, I just put some raccoon fat in the pan warm that up threw them in and sauteed them up in that and now they're good to go a little spat splash of salt and pepper would be nice but I use the wadobo I'm good mm -hmm. to go oh yeah and, that, and I'm not lying I'm not saying this because we're out in the woods they were really really good actually all right, guys, so uh, I trimmed a little fat off of the hide on the raccoon. We're actually going to be using these for the minnow traps. And I'm going to go check those real quick. And then afterwards, we're going to come back, join Zach uh, to check out his new catfish hole that he's built yesterday. So we're going down to the creek. We're going to check the minnow traps and literally nothing. Nothing. Look at this. Not gone off. Not gone off, two days in a row. But not a big deal. Let's go down to the other side of the rocks and go check the minnow traps.
go. Time to check the lines. Whew. The leaves make it slippery. Come down here. All right, we've got, yep. Check the farthest one out first. Nope. Still full of dog food. So let's say we're gonna have to move this one over to a new spot. Doing. And nada. Okay, so let's go add some fat and see if it uh, becomes a little more organic. Can't lure something else into the trap. Water snakes, minnows, crawdads, anything really. Go ahead and let that sink back down. So, I'm going to keep trying this spot. New baits, see what happens. See if we can intrigue some form of creatures. Come on in, say hello. If not, we'll just move the traps, rebait them, all the good stuff. go all done all rebated touching my life to roots that is now my life airbags <clears throat> as for wusses get roots insurance that makes more fucking sense. All right guys, so we are back at camp and looks like Zach is getting all the foods processed up for us and on the fire for the day. 
So uh, you you ready to show me that top secret CIA location for fishing? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, so we're gonna follow Zach through this bushwhacked trail. And uh, even though this is my bucket list spot, this is one of the few places I've never been. So we're actually gonna be following him. But right now it looks like it's the hotness. Ooh, look at that creature feature. That is a hold. That is a hold. That's not for a root. That's a creature hold. Not sure what kind of creature. I don't see any rabbit poop around it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it isn't. Interesting. Here it is. This is the super secret location that's going to take a little bit of a uh, bridge to Terabithian uh, help to get down to. So this is another section of the creek before I get down there. The Zach found, as you can see, it's like a little micro Grand Canyon down here. It's pretty freaking beautiful. It's kind of awesome. There you go. We have a ride. Ooh. Guys, this is freaking cool. This is, this is a fun little spot. So I got a little walkway here so you can walk along the path. And then there's a dig out for a butt right there, so you could sit <laughs> sit right there. And then the rocket stove, and then I made steps down. The only thing that's not really great right now, if you land a fish, you gotta kneel down like one foot here, one foot just touching the water, kind yeah. of like grab it. But those roots are solid, so I was thinking about hacking away over there, and then you could step out onto the root base and haul in a fish easily for something. I just build me a bridge, otherwise I'll be able to follow the yeah. tree, just call it a day. Uh, I could. Uh, with like sticks and stuff, I could. You go. can tell someone's been down here fishing once upon a time. There's a bobber stuck That's there. mine. <laughs> that oh, my, really? That was my second cast that I got the bobber stuck there. <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, a big old cat. Nice. So we got a catfish today. That's going to be awesome. Oh, man. I'm going to let it go down for a sec. And uh, figure out how to get it out of here. I think I can step down to that root base and grab it. Right on. That was a great... Oh, I nailed it. So this is where all the fish are. This is where all the fish are. I thought I found a Narnian spot and you found another one. You found a Terabithian spot. Don't break free. Don't break free. That's what I'm going to sing to you. Stay right there, stay right there. Don't lose the big catfish. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh. Ow. 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 There we go, gotcha. You're good. Got him, got him right under the gills. Oh, that was a good hooking too. Ooh, that's a nice catfish. That is a very nice looking It's a good, catfish. what, seven pounds maybe? Five? Nah, he, uh... Five maybe to seven? Maybe five, maybe five. Yeah. yeah. I can say that, that could be a fiver. Woohoo! Look at that, y'all. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was nice. on gills. gills. I just got here. Gills for the win. <laughs> gills for the win. To be able to see all of the things that he can invent and where his mind works, um, being blessed to work with someone like Zach is phenomenal, especially spending like 24 hours a day with this guy. Um, all his little tips and tricks and his little DIYs and just things that you don't necessarily think of day to day. It's freaking, it's freaking magical. Ooh, there we go. Look at that guy right there. That's my hand, just for reference. I mean, he's it's going to be some good eating. I'd say we nailed it. Oh yeah. I mean, we haven't even started yet. It's just yeah. the results of hard work from this last is, time. Yeah, this was caught on gills, and uh, that's what I've only been able to really catch anything substantial on so far is with uh, gills in this location. So I'll rebate with gills, and hopefully we keep catching them like this. All right, guys, so we already have a catfish. We've already rebated the lines. We're going to go hack a path down here. We're going to go check the other night lines he left out, and just keep on with our day because there's no sense in spending the whole day here when there's a risk of actually spoiling the food we've already got. So let's take the wind and get that thing cooked up. So we are back at camp. 
We've got the catfish up. He's gonna gut it real quick, put it on the smoke. And then we're gonna go back around the other way and go check the other lines, rebate those, and to see what's what. But we are down a different section to the steps. And we are gonna go down and check the night lines. He's set. Woo! Try not to fall. <laughs> Alrighty. Huh. I even lost my sinker rock. There's still sliver on there. So maybe there's, they're just hanging out a lot farther upstream. Yeah. I'm not even gonna change these. I'm gonna save the gills for the more promising places. Got a rock, guys, look. Yeah. That thing is huge. Protein. I'll put some hair in your chest. So, ain't nothing here. Rebate the gills on this one. I only have enough to do a certain amount of lines. I guess so. We're gonna make our way back to camp. Go get some food. We're hungry. Heading back to camp, but on the way there, I'm gonna go find those trifoliate oranges. Zach's gonna go fill up the water bag at the creek, and then we are gonna actually take the oranges, put them inside the catfish. I have kind of like a orangey, lemony, zested catfish. Oh, I'm excited. We gotta have more materials to bring. So Zach and I. We're going to build us a bushcraft table. So for anybody who's wondering, we're stuffing the oranges into the catfish to kind of give it a internal marinade. It'll be really, really, really posh for survival. But we got it and we might as well use it and enjoy it. Stuff it right to the gills. <laughs> Get it? Literally. He's so punny. He thinks this is a travesty, but I just, I don't know. I like just to eat. What? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to stay warm for you for a while. Mm. There's so much food. 
and I'm dropping it. Here, why don't I hold it for you? And then you can rake it off the direction it wants to be raked off, kind of more like that. Yeah, there you go. Teamwork. Yeah, I'm losing some fish down. All right, so. That's my half of the catfish. This is a ton of food. I'm probably gonna go in a catfish coma, but I'm gonna lay mine a little bit onto the coals just for a few minutes, just to make sure everything cooks all the way through since it was cooked whole. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Just got off the fire. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sit in a spot. Time to go get some more firewood. Uh, and we got filling the big log. We need more. It's luckily because of my bucket location. <laughs> All you gotta do is grab the driest stuff over here and just plug it over there. So for now, at least for the short term, got plenty of dry brush to pick from. We're done collecting firewood and the conquering hero returns. I got my snare set up. Snare? Oh, yeah, yeah for the rabbits and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, Ooh, with my new sweet. Grim card. Grim card? How did you get that out here? I got a drone flight that came in with my new custom Grim card. I'll show you. All right, this is my new custom Grim card that came in by drone just now with the uh, Fowler. It's a collaboration with Grim. I had come up with a trap card idea for a while ago that we talked about and they came up with this and it's got spinners and fishing hooks, knife, tick key and a poker to poke at things if you get thorns and stuff stuck in you, remove ticks and a fish spear. Oh man, I gotta get me one of those from a wallet. So like and I reels. went took and took the trigger system Yeah. and I went out there and I used that to make the trigger system for the snare loop for the rabbit. Oh nice. Ooh. So, we got to do something interesting that we don't get to do very often, which was eat when the sun was out. That was very, very interesting. And uh, it's actually pretty early. It's about 8.30 at night. And I think we're gonna use that to wake up early to try to get some stuff done, kind of capitalize on our remaining, ready for this? Starting tomorrow, wham, five days left oh man i'm super amped that we've made it this long that we're gonna it's gonna be a huge milestone for me it's 25 days living 100 percent off the land super epic 